On this portion of the morning show, we're talking about the upcoming original Fall Craft Fair, which is happening this Saturday, November 23rd, hosted by NASCAR Fans United Grace Team. And joining us in the studio, Lorna Maxwell and Carol Moon. Uh, they're back to talk about it. Lorna, it seems like we just did this. I know. I know. <laughs> it comes up fast every year. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. How many years have you been uh, putting on this Fall oh, Craft Lord. Fair? <laughs> Way before I went to the middle school, we started at the high school. The, yes. old, the old high school. The yeah. old high school. Yes. The old high school we started. We that tried was our craft fair that the J-Sets did. Right. Mm -hmm. This is the NASCAR fans one. So they kind of took, we took, took over it over. That. Took it yeah. over. Won the high school. Yeah. Yes. But so, so, so you're experienced with them. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> We've done yes. it. And you've typically done it the, the uh, opening of gun deer season Saturday, yes. right? Yes. It was set up so that the women had some place to go if they weren't hunters and you know, and, and that was the idea to begin with, and it's continued, so, yes. This is the big fundraiser for your NASCAR team, isn't it? It is. is One of them. One of them. One of them. <clears throat> Yeah, we have a spring one also, and that's where we were here before. Oh, yeah. that's, our spring that's, one. that's why it seems like it was yes. so <laughs> just just short ago, just the yeah. other day. Yes. Oh, my goodness. But you've had a great response, it looks like, too. Oh, yes. We have a lot of vendors. Yeah. We have, like, over, what, 52? Yes, so over 52. Far. Yes. And there's still room for more vendors, so okay. they could call April. Yes. How much does it cost to be a vendor? $30 or $40, depending on the size of the area. And some some will take more than one area. You know, they'll take up two or three spaces or just one space, whatever mm -hmm. they want. You have a real diverse uh, line of, of crafts and, and, and wares, don't you? Yes, we do. It's very interesting. We were just going over the list out in the hall, and, and um, I can go through and... And read some of them. And sure. excuse me if I demolish a name. I'm okay. Uh, at the front entrance, uh, we're going to have Dell Prairie Kettle Corn by uh, Roy Heiner or Heiner. I mean, I love that. That's great to oh, take home with. Me you. too. Yes. And then uh, we have homemade, handmade, sturdy night woodworks by Tino. Uh, we have Doll Clothes by Helen Biba. She's been coming for years, years, and she's awesome, awesome. And in the gym, we have Rachel Beadle with Sensi. We have Kim Keel with Paper Pie, formerly uh, Us Osborne Books. And Donna Clark with Donna's Crafts, Stuffed Animals, and Bibs. Uh, Stacy Walker, she has Lavender Experiment, Soaps shower steamers various lavender products loretta kilmer baby blankets soft books kitchen towels sharon schaefer tastefully simple jean king king's honey uh, jody demuth with labry shelly drake with um, custom designs john turdo, turdo with rings and things sonia turdo with pampered chef Linda Bob with craft items, crocheting, embroidery. Kathy Otteson, Kelly's, Kelly's Creations, uh, sublimation printing, wind spinning, slate window hangings. Elaine Hansen with wreaths, towels, dish towels, and aprons. Judy O'Connell, sewn and crocheting items, towels, dish cloths, doggy coats, treat mats, bibs, cloth books, and balloon balls. Uh, Tanya Hugh, Craft Sisters Painted Bottles. Um, Cindy Rasmussen, Cindy Rasmussen Creations, No Sew Ornaments, Fabric Wreaths, Dish Towels, Hot Pads, Plushies, Bows, Turtle Mops. Um, Tracy Buman, uh, Tracy Dot Art, Dot Painted Ornaments, Journals, Paperweights, Christmas Figurines. Jennifer Ross, Sip and Fancy Flash Cups with Decals, Carrie Henning, Handmade Jewelry and Jewelry Products, Erica Felstead, uh, Gluten-Free Baked Goods, uh, Brie Ewing, Dolly's World Crocheted Crafts, Kevin Ewing, Freestanding Wood Puzzles, Summer Walters, Happy, Happy Huddle Company, Huddy Company, Crocheted Items, Linda Baker, Yarn Unique Crocheted, and Kendra Pardoon, Countryside Creations, Seasonal Decorations and holiday, for Holidays. 
tons yes. of stuff there. Carol, did you have a list too? I have a list also. Okay. <clears throat> Jamie Donner has um, crocheted items um, and decor. Sherry Pellet has some sew- sewing and some woodworking. Aaron Friance, sorry, Aaron, um, 3D paint, uh, printer objects and smaller miscellaneous craft. Sally McCollum, she has Sally's handcrafted jewelry. Linda uh, Mickelson has um, snowmen and some penguin and some clay type snowmen um, designs. Um, Rose Miller has Miller candy. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Um, Madeline McGlynn has faithful creations and homemade signs. Lisa Ruth Roth whis- whis- whiskey. Oh, sounds terrible. And Anne Kelly has cro- um, crocheted, sewed, and gemstone um, trees, and some bath salts, and so on. Jennifer Tash has um, blessed angels and angels made out of um, ceiling fan globes. Hmm. Nicole Steinbach and Susan um, Berger has um, pride candles. Um, Shelly Dobbs has smelling sh- candles. They're called smelly Shelly candles. Um, Vicki Simonson has counter um, peddler and custom sewing and embroidery pro- products. Trace Fraser, uh, Fraser has all natural love and or, organic skin care products. Um, Chad and Tan and Tammy Tanner have Tanner's treasurables and 3D printable items. Lindsay Adams has um, the Island Drinks. Amy Miller has creative layers. Minnie Robinson has um, Christmas decor and painted wooden ornaments. Sarah Torgerson has um, earrings and um, some tumblers. And Kimberly Kazinka has jewelry, um, Bubbles homemade decorations. And on the stage, we have Julie Bethke with her um, accents by Julie. And in the cafeteria, we have some vendors also. Michelle Cords has many Paws Bakery, things for your pets. Lynn Harwick has cross-stitch items. Um, Lorene Service has um, Jordan Essentials. Melissa Fruit has her um, epoxy products. And Gilda Jacobs has a variety of craft items. That is quite a list. It's quite a list. And if there is anyone else who wants to vendor, they can give April a call at 608-293-1342. There'll be some good food there that day as well, Lorna. Yes, we always have good food. (laughs) We've uh, pretty much stayed with our regular menu for, for quite a while and Carol's in charge of that, which is great. Mm-hmm. Hot turkey <laughs> sandwiches, is that right? Yep. I make hot turkey sandwiches out of um, the turkey breast. And then we also are having barbecue. And we'll have some um, baked goods that'll be for sale, along with whatever you want to drink. Um, we also do some vegetables, um, some carrots and celery to go along with your sandwiches. So you can browse around. You don't even have to buy anything, but you can enjoy some lunch you there. You can come and have lunch, yes. That'd be great. And it's at the intermediate school, and you always like to mention the fact that it's the old middle, middle school. Middle school, right. Because yeah. there are some of us that still have a hard time. Okay, which in, which one is that, right? Yes. <laughs> the one on Highway 80. Highway 80, absolutely. So you enter through the gymnasium, is that correct? Then? Yes. Uh-huh. You come in through the gym, and that'll get you into the main gym, as well as down the hallway to the cafeteria. And there will be signs. You uh, you guys have done a great job uh, raising money for Grace. Any idea of, of what you put together through the years for, for your Grace teams? What did we have? Oh, not through the years. I guess we have not added well, that total. No. It's a big one, though. It it's is. It's a big one. But last year, I know you contributed well, too. So. Yes. Yeah. We did well. We, we did, did very really well. well this year. Yes. Very well. Yes. Raising money. 
Good deal. And I know there are others in the area, and, and there are people I know that kind of hip-hop from each right. one, don't they? Between the high school and the community center and then the intermediate on Highway 80. You can yes. hit three different craft fairs. There's a triangle that yep. you can go around there. Yes. So, yes. good deal. Well, it's going to be a great one. Nine to three this Saturday. Anything else uh, either of you would like to add about this? Nope. Just come on out and enjoy yes. yourself. Yes. Just need people there. Just so. come and meet people there and do enjoy your Christmas lunch. shopping. Yes. Do your Christmas shopping and yes. have some lunch. Yep. Yes. We hope people will. Well, thanks for coming by and seeing us today. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you, Phil. You bet. Carol Moon and Lorna Maxwell joining us. The original Fall Craft Fair is Saturday at the Richland Center Intermediate School, the old Richland Middle School.